I'm currently an executive director in the DBS Transformation Group and we're looking for three key outcomes with this major transformation piece, which is embedding ambitious innovation, elevating the customer and increasing productivity. My first experience with Agile was back in 2007 when I started working for the Suncorp Group in Australia. So my first experience was actually trying to understand what it was in the beginning but really starting to experiment and learn about it in a very safe to fail environment with great leadership support. The major changes I think that I've seen over this time is that it's uh, very well applied outside of IT. It's much more associated with a greater cultural change for an organisation. Change is, is hard because it's making people uncomfortable. So really, people that aren't great in dealing with ambiguity or unknowns um, is also a, a challenge. So of course, it's our job as change agents to try and um, you know, wade them through that. I think it starts with leadership, so introspecting of ourselves as leaders is definitely key. Um, and you need to believe in it to be able to drive the change and model the behaviours that we expect to see out of this way of working. Uh, you are going to feel very uncomfortable at times, and so you really need to have courage to face those vulnerabilities. So when you're going into work with teams or change their way of working, it's really putting yourself in their shoes and understanding um, their actual uh, context to be able to drive change and meet them where they are in some instances. For sustainability of the way of working, co-creation is key. So not just an isolated group or being run from an isolated area. The people that need to have this way of working um, really need to be embedded in part of the journey um, and be heard as part of the solution and the way of working. So co-creation is absolutely key.